Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so as you guys know, I've been a little less present on YouTube. Been busy, trying to make a lot less gear related videos. Um, and I don't typically do a lot of product reviews. However, today's a little different because if there's something I'm genuinely interested in, I will make a review on it. And today's no different. We're gonna talk today about what came in this box, what was sent to me, these Freewell K2 versatile magnetic filter system, and talk about why this is interesting to me. But before I do that, you guys remember the trip I went on, if you follow this channel, um, I don't know, maybe a month or two months ago, up to the UP and I photographed these pictures right here of the waterfalls. Yeah, so when I did those, I did it with a bunch of like step up rings, other step up rings, and I had multiple lenses. I think I had the 12 to 35 f2.8, the Panasonic Micro Four Thirds lens. I was using like this Tiffin circular polarizer right here, uh, and I was using a bunch of stuff, and I was stacking them. So if you look at this, the stack right here, see this? I've got a circular polarizer on top of a variable ND because I wanted to get the glare off of the waterfalls and the water, but I also wanted to do long shutter speeds and all sorts of stuff like that. The problem is the reason why I still like this is because I can't get this step up ring. Yes, see this right here, the 62 to 72. I can't get this step up ring, I'm looking at the screen, to come off. So I haven't touched my filter since then because they're frustrating. And that's why I was interested when Freewell reached out to me for this magnetic system. Now I've already taken it all apart and out of the box and that kind of stuff, but what they sent me was a whole pile of different things. First of all, they sent me a whole pile of step up rings and I think most of these come in the box to go from, let's see what we got here. Yeah, so we have an 82 millimeter step up ring. We have a 72 millimeter step up ring, a 67 millimeter step up ring and a 77. And then because I was also using a, uh, Smaller lens, they sent me a 55 millimeter step up ring as well. And in the box, what came with it was this setup right here. And what you get, first of all, you get this magnetic cap that comes off the holder. You guys see this right here? And then inside, you have this magnetic variable ND base right here. And this snaps in here just like this. And that's like your base ND. When you actually look at the ND filter yourself, you'll see it starts at stops six, seven, eight, and nine. I think these are stops one through five, or it's just a base to kind of put over top of it. Um, and what's interesting is the way this kind of mounts to a lens. Now the lens I'm, I would mount this to is what I'm recording on, so I don't put it on there. But if you look right here, there's, there's these, get my head out of the way. There's these like locking screw and these buttons. And so these buttons right here, if you push them in, will release the cap, but not until you untighten, unloosen these screws up. And that's kind of how it mounts to the lens, right? So this comes off and then boom, you stick this on to your lens through one of the step up rings that are is magnetic. And so the whole thing, you know, just having a step up ring and snapping it on makes it super easy. And then from there, you just take, I don't know, in this case, this is a uh, circular polarizer. You just click it on like this, right? And now you can adjust your stuff and uh, you know have it have it right there. Have your circular polarizer, which is great. What's cool about this circular polarizer is when it's on. I don't know if you guys can see this right here. It rotates. Let me show you where the actual see the arrow right here. Can you guys see this arrow? Rotates from stop five to stop one and there's hard stops. So it doesn't spin continually, which is awesome because a lot of the circular polarizers that I have, they just spin, spin, and spin, and spin and get the cross hatching sometimes. And that's kind of cool. The other one that they sent over to me was this uh, ND32. Let me get out of, my way, out of your way here. Right there, ND32 CPL. Has the same hard stops, I should say. This one does have the same hard stops. And like I mentioned, with this base ND in the inside and this right here, you'll see it's got stops six through nine and they hard stop as well. I love that. I hate, like again, like I said, I hate the fact that the other, other um, I hate the fact that the other uh, filters just spin and spin and spin, which is really, really cool. So the other thing, the other thing they sent me was this Freewell quarter uh, diffusion snow mist filter. 
kind of cool, it comes in this little pouch right here as such. And this is done like a drop-in filter, so you can put it behind your other filter. So if you see this right here, right, adds a little bit of kind of that softer, filmic look, if you will. And what's interesting about it is that when you put it on, if you guys, I'm gonna get out of the screen again, you see this right here? It opens up, and then you would just slide, slide this in. Now the one thing I've noticed, I have, there it goes, is you can throw it in between. So your variable ND base, and then you have your filter. So you can stack all of these together, your circular polarizer, your, your diffusion, diff diffusion mist filter, all these different things go right on top. And so, you know, pretty cool look to combine things, and it's super simple. And what's interesting about this is that once you put the step up rings on your lenses and you just leave them on there, this way you set it up just clicks onto each one. You don't have to keep taking filters off and putting them on, any of that kind of stuff, which I really, really, really like. However, there is one problem. Um, let me see if I can find something to show you. I'll use this like a nine millimeter F1.7 as an example. Now, this is just a UV filter that's on here right now, not a big deal. But the thing is, is once this is on, it's just on. And I just go out and shoot and I can say to myself, hey, like today I'm shooting with an ND filter, today I'm shooting with a polarizer, today I'm shooting with a, a diffusion filter. And you just leave it on, your lens really doesn't get any bigger. And on top of that, you can still put the lens caps on. Now, obviously this has the lens cap, which is great, but think about sticking this on the front of your lens. It's gonna make it a lot bigger. And so you have to that to deal with. That is one of the downsides. The other downside is, is that if you start stacking filters, which I don't know if you'd need to or want to or not, you kind of, you lose that ability for clicks, right? Like this is no more hard stops. It's just sitting there magnetically. But also like if you bump it too hard, the magnets will pull off. So I don't think it's recommended that you stack filters necessarily. You can, and uh, again, they haven't told me either one way or the other if this is something you're supposed to do. But if you do that, just keep in mind that if you bump it or whatever, the magnets aren't strong enough to hold multiple filters together at the same time securely. You definitely wanna take these off and put the cap back on before you guys go out and do anything else. Um, but overall, what I do like about this is, is that I can have one setup, one system that adapts to all my lenses. I got all the step up rings. I've got a circular polarizer. I have an ND filter. I have a base ND filter, a diffusion filter, and they have hard stops. And it works really, really cool. And like I said, it locks on the lens really secure with these two tabs and then these tightening, t uh, tightening screws. Um, it even has a little, you guys see this right here? This little level right here? There's even a little level on top of this to kind of tell you if you're level or not, which is really interesting. And of course, when you pack it all away, it sits inside this box right here. Just leave this in your bag and you got your whole entire filter system. I like this in a lot of ways because you can buy one set of filters, apply it to all of your lenses, instead of buying maybe filters for each one of your lenses and then you know having a hard time getting them unscrewed from each other and that kind of stuff. And so I would say this is the definite recommend um, I would definitely buy this. You know, if I wasn't given this product by Freewell to try, I definitely would have bought it. And to be candid, I was looking at something like this because when I do go out and I want to shoot some sunsets or sunrises or long exposures or water scenes, I like the whole filter thing. And I just, this whole setup was so clunky to me when I was out doing it, um, when I was out shooting uh, a couple months ago, that it really turned me off from the whole filter thing. Uh, again, this is the old way of doing things, it's fine. But I can't, I can't even get this six, what is this, a 58 to 62 millimeter step up. I can't even get this off my polarizer. It is like welded on here. And I've heard some tips and tricks to like you know, rubber bands or something, but I can't even get this thing off. It's totally stuck on here and that sucks. And that's, this was so frustrating on my trip to quickly adapt this ND filter polarizer setup to different lenses because the step up rings were stuck that it really turned me off from wanting to Maybe I got, might have just broke it off. Oh, there we go, yes. Anyways, that was frustrating. And so I was looking at these magnetic systems for a while and I would highly recommend, if you're looking for something like this, to go with these Freewell set up. I, again, they, they gave this to me for free, but they didn't pay for me to do this video and they didn't give me an affiliate link at the time of recording this. So if they do give me one, I'll put it below, but as of the time of recording this video, I don't have one. Um, so yeah, that's it guys, I just wanted to, kind of bring this to your attention, these Freewell K2 filter system. Uh, I'm on board with it. If you're okay with 
kind of it being a bigger front element, you, know, you put it on for that trip out. I think it works pretty good. I would definitely recommend this. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll be back with more actual photography videos. I've been uh, been a bit busy with other things, so I apologize about that. I'll see you in the next one.